Hey, welcome to Dragon Dart Racing and Videos and Kevin Hunt Dragon Dart on YouTube. Just a quick recap of the weekend. Uh, Coles County on Friday night uh, did some tests and tune. I'm still dialing this car in. The new combination is working great. And uh, solid mid 730s all night long. Uh, got a little red light itis because of the way that thing's launching the 60 foot time. I have to keep changing my starting line approach to how I get off the line. And then went down to Benton, uh, I-57 Dragway on Saturday and run with the True Nostalgia Superstock group. And uh, I kind of threw away a good one, but uh, had a uh, real bad light my first time run, had a uh, red light my second time run, so there I go. So I had to split the difference. So I think I finally got it dialed in. First round, a 009 light, and I had uh, a win. Second round, I pulled a 002 against a car that was faster than me. So as I'm looking back, I didn't see and did, so I dumped not quite soon enough, and I broke out by a hundredth. So in our racing, you can't change your index once you dial it. So we'll try it again. Uh, I'm really happy with where the car's running, and I really thank all of you for checking in. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, that little dragon. Thank you.
fans. Here we are at I-57 Dragway in beautiful, well, it's between Benton and West Frankfort, Illinois. I've been a little lax on video updates, so here we are. It's hot, the cicadas are screaming, so here we are. Uh, test and tune, Coles County last night. You'll probably see the videos of that. Red Light City, I five passes, I think I red lighted three times. I come down here, my first run, I was a point one four five green light which is like a snoozer so i go back up again but i did run a 737 with a zero and that is what my hand my index is so the next round i go up try a little different negative 31 red just like last night so i'm like oh here we go so i feel like i was you know a lamb for the slaughter well, the car is launching a lot harder than it did last year. 60 foot and real good. So I got first round. You notice the ticket's white. White good, yellow bad. And I did what I would feel almost a bad job of red lighting. It was a 009 red light, or green light rather, excuse me. 009, and of course I was able to dump it at the finish line. Uh, 745, easy win. Uh, so I'm still in. Hey, I already won 50 bucks. We had a little drawing. I won $50, so I, that's half my entry fee right there. So we'll see what happens. It's just a six round or four round race tonight. Uh, winner's share is $950. That's why it's a good series to race. You're not gonna race anywhere else for that low a car count for that kind of money. We wanna thank all of our sponsors, especially O'Reilly Auto Parts. They really uh, kick in the money on the purse and all of our sponsors. Well, round number two, which was six cars left. This was going to be a four-rounder today. I got a yellow ticket. I wasted a .0011 light, and I tried. I threw the anchor out. I took way too much stripe, but I've got bitten with fast cars. He was running 680s, and I've got bitten before on that, so I uh, didn't dump the finish line too soon. But uh, 735 with a 9 on 737, so whatever. A loss is a loss. But we have a $50 bonus, whoever did the best reaction time in competition. So even though I lost the round, that'll hold up. And the round before, I had a 009. So no one has even challenged that yet. So, hey, what can I say? And this pays back far. That being the quarterfinals, we'll get money for that too. We've got very good sponsorship and very good pay. If anybody has a car that will qualify for True Nostalgia Superstock, check them out on Facebook and check them out on the web. It's a good group to run with. So, I guess I'm going home.